Hello everyone. Welcome to ITPLEXpert.com. We do provide complete machine learning VLSI project for low cost. Okay. Uh, so today we are going to see one of the very interesting project for the current society's issues. Okay. So this is the project which we are going to discuss today. This project published on IEEE transaction paper. So this is a complete IEEE transaction paper, which is a recent paper also. This is the project title. Okay. Recurrent issue of our network for infant brain tumor detection okay in this project they are going to detect brain tumor for the infant brain infant what's the meaning of infant means babies even childless okay this is the base paper which are going to discuss today uh, you, everyone know brain tumor was the one of the leading cause for uh, large number of human death okay but the major drawback uh, drawback of the brain tumor was we can't find out the earlier stage Okay, one cannot find out the earliest stage of brain tumor. That's the main cause. Okay, if someone attain 18 years, 16 years, or 20 years, then only they come to know about the internal brain tumor issue. Okay, but that that time of uh, in that period, okay, the tumor got multiplied. Okay, it's multiplied into various part of your brain. Okay, so you can't cure mostly. That is the major drawback, which is lead to the human death. But in this project, what we are going to do means we are going to find out the tumor for the infant. What's the meaning of infant means in this base paper, they are considered as the five years, four years child infants like that. But what we are going to do in our proposed system is in our proposed system as a modification, we are going to predict the brain tumor in fetus. Okay. Fatal brain tumor. That's what we are going to do. What's the meaning of fatal means we are going to detect brain tumor in the fetus the child the child was in the form of when the child was in her mother uh, stomach you know that time itself we are going to predict whether the child having brain tumor or not fetus okay that's what we are going to do we are going to predict brain tumor as well uh, in the fetus stage itself fetus stage means in the stomach of the uh, in the stomach of the mother okay also we are going to predict the brain tumor for the uh, as, as well as infant that uh, two years one year child also we are going to detect that's what we are going to do in this project before that you are going to uh, know about basic information about brain tumor okay this is the periodic brain tumor periodic brain tumor means the tumor which is formed under the uh, brain surface it multiplied into the various part okay it's growing like multiple part this is the brain tumor okay the major symptom was a brain uh, symptom for brain tumor was uh, frequent headache as well as uh, you you feel that uh, you are having some large number of pressure in your uh, inside of your head that's what the major symptoms but we are going to detect brain tumor from two type of images in this project in the base paper they are considered MRI images you all know what's the meaning of MRI images this is the MRI image they are going to take okay but the major problem was MRI images only applicable for the infants or humans infant means above four years then only you can take the MRI images then only they are allowed to know take the MRI images but uh, as we mentioned earlier in our proposed system what we are going to do means we are going to detect brain tumor from the fetus fetus means inside the mother's stomach itself okay we are going to predict whether the baby having tumor or not for that what we are going to do means we are going to use uh, ultrasound images you all know what's the meaning of ultrasound images okay ultrasound images means uh, in the pregnancy stage itself the each and every mother having some ultrasound scanning you know i'll show some ultrasound images for example what's the meaning of ultrasound images okay for your reference i am showing some ultrasound uh, process so this is the ultrasound process in the mother and stomach itself the baby scanning process they are taking some ultrasound images for example how the ultrasound images look like means this was the ultrasound images look like this was the ultrasound image this was the image we are going to take from this stage itself we are going to find whether the baby having tumor or not as well as you can you can use normal mr images also so in our proposed system you can use ultrasound images as well as mr images both type of images you can use that's the major advantages in our project okay which is not proposed in the base paper we are add on with that base paper you can check with the mr images as well as ultrasound images 
that's what our proposal system okay so i for this project i'm going to explain the ppt first of all so i do open the project ppt so for this project base paper ppt reports everything readily available while purchasing i will explain the project ppt so this is the project ppt fetal brain tumor detection using 3d reconstruction with ultrasound images as you mentioned earlier you can use ultrasound images as well as mr images both images you can use the major objective of the project was the major objective was so we have to apply the deep learning technique various deep learning technique to detect the brain tumor of the particular fetus or else infant using various algorithm which we mentioned as a rnn recurrent neural network with alexnet these are the algorithms we are going to propose in our proposal in our abstract we have mentioned that ultrasound imaging that's what the major imaging technique we are going to use to the to the diagnosis of fetal tumor ultrasound images only we are using as well as you can use normal mri images also both images this project will support but the existing system will support only mri images which is not applicable for the fetus okay uh, we are using image fusion technologies also here which will give them more accuracy when compared to the existing system uh, so we are using we are fusing ultrasound images as well as the mri images for the better accuracy of this project so introduction we are given that what is the brain tumor what is the major cause of brain tumor what is the symptom for the brain tumor how many student how many child infants de, uh, uh, died in each and every years okay due to the cause of brain tumor as well as in the major motivation of the project was we have to implement a deep learning technique to detect the brain tumor from the fetus as well as uh, infant brain that's what we are going to implement major problem was the world, while the baby was in infant stage, uh, sorry, fetus stage, fetus means uh, under, uh, inside the uh, mother's stomach, okay, the baby was inside the mother's stomach means you can't take the MRI images, so you won't able to find out the brain tumor, that is the major drawback of the existing, okay, but in our proposal, we are going to use ultrasound images for that, ultrasound images means the fetus also take ultrasound images, from that itself, we are going to predict the tumor, that's what major advantage. So for this project with literature survey also given, least, uh, recent paper literature survey drawbacks everything given. The major existing system was for this project was in the existing system, uh, unit architecture. They have used unit architecture for the detection purpose as well as they have used only MRI images for the infant. That is the major drawback. Uh, the huge drawback of the project was you can't detect the brain tumor in the infant as well as MRI images only applicable for the uh, child above four years you can't take two years three years child mri images okay which is severe that's the major drawback as well as the existing system returns poor efficiency poor accuracy also you can't use low resolution images that's what the major drawback in the existing system which is given in the paper this paper okay but in our proposed system we are changing modifying the proposed system converting proposed system into the conversion neural network with recurrent neural network those algorithm we are going to combine here completely so this conversion neural network, we are going to detect not only tumor or non-tumor, we are going to detect tumor types. What are the exact tumor type, exact type of tumor the person having, the child, the infant having, the fetus having. That's what we are going to detect. That is various type of tumors present in the infant stage or uh, fetus stage. We are going to detect what type of tumor, which is uh, more severe or less severe like that. For that, we are using MRI as well as ultrasound images, which we have mentioned. So this is the architecture of the project okay uh, here you can use ultrasound or else mri image for the detection those images comes under pre-processing stage after pre-processing we are going to form the training data set for this project after training data set we are going to apply rnn come cnn algorithm for training purpose after training completion we are going for the classification stage there you can check any input whether mri image ct image fetus image infant image it will Compare with the training stage, it will give the predicted output. What is the specific stage of tumor or else no tumor is presented? It will give the result. The overall architecture for the scene is also given. While purchasing project, you will get everything. Okay, you will get the, the what's the models involved, what's the accuracy of this project, which we mentioned around 98 percentage accuracy for this project. Okay, 98.3 percentage accuracy for this project, as well as what is the models involved in the project. What's the algorithm we are going to use? Everything you can get with this project while purchasing. Major advantage was it will return the highest accuracy when compared to the existing system, a very reliable system, as well as you can use for the fetus, okay, child inside the 
mother before birth itself you can check whether the child have having tumor or not before birth itself you can check that is the major advancement here okay the hardware means you need minimum uh, 4 gp of ram for this project okay as well as uh, coding language we are using python here id anaconda id we are going to use further improvement was uh, you can use resnet architecture vgg16 architecture along with that for better accuracy in future system the conclusion of the project we have given uh, we are going to apply ultrasound or mri images to detect the tumor inside the mother before birth itself we are going to detect whether the baby having tumor or not as well as you can use mri images of infants also that is the major advantage as well as conclusion of the project reference also given for this project okay everything given uh, while purchasing project you can get complete material of ppt base papers as well as report copy coding everything you can get okay without wasting much further time i'm going to run the project for you Uh, to run this project, we are going to project folder, coding folder. Okay. So this is a project coding folder. So in the project coding folder, before running the project, I will show the some of the data set images. We are taking three type of images. First one is glioma tumor, another one is meningioma tumor, another one is pituitary tumor. Then no tumor. This type of images only which we are going to consider. Whatever I show then no no tumor images. As I mentioned earlier, we are going to take ultrasound images of the baby as well as MRI images. Any type of images you can use. So I'll show the ultrasound images for example. So these are the ultrasound images of the baby. So you can get the brain part. So this part belongs to the brain. Okay. You can take ultrasound images as well as MR images. These are the MR images for the infant. MR images for the infants. Okay. You can use any type of images here. Okay. MR images. So this is for no tumor. As well as I can show pituitary tumor. So I will show some reference for the pituitary tumor also. So these are the example for the pituitary tumor images. So here you can find the ultrasound images also. So around 2000 images have been taken for the training purpose. So this is the ultrasound images of the PTT tumor. Okay. Infant. Okay. While well, before birth itself, we are taking ultrasound images. Okay. So then we are going for the glioma tumor as well as manigoma tumor. Any type of tumor you can check. Okay. For testing purpose, uh, for uh, what I'm, I have to say for uh, testing purpose, I am taking some common images here. Okay. I'm just pasting here. We don't know whether what type of uh, tumor they are having. Just I'm pasting it here. Then no tumor. I'm taking some reference for the no tumor also. Then PTT tumor. Some testing purpose. I I have been taking some images. Okay. You can check with any images from the internet or even your X-ray images also, MR images also, or your ultrasound images also. It will work perfectly. Okay. For testing purpose, I'm just taking some of the images and pasting here. Test images. Just pasted here. These are the images I'm going to test. Already trained. This project already trained. We can check the retrained labels here. It's already trained. Glioma, Manigoma, Assess, No Timber, Pituitary Timber. Already trained. So these are the codings. Label.image, Retrain.py, then App.py. App.py belongs to the main code. This is the code I'm going to run. So I'm just copying the project location, just opening my Anaconda Navigator, accessing my project environment. In the project terminal, what I'm going to do means I'm going to do CD space project location. Then enter. I'm going to run app.py. So what I'm going to do means I'm going to use Python space app.py. This is the command I'm going to use. So once the project compiled means it will create a website for this project. You can find the website link also after completion. Okay, so I'm just waiting for the project to compile. Once it's compiled, it means it will form as a website. You can find the project running on the this server. Just I'm copying the server. Just I'm copying the server. I'm just pasting on the browser. Pasting on the browser. So this is the project homepage. You can find the homepage: infant brain tumor detection using deep learning. 
So the project abstract I also given. You can check with ultrasound images, MR images, any type of images you can check. So the before birth itself, you can check for the brain tumor. That's the main advantage here. Then I'm going for the login page. In the login page, I'm just using admin admin as a username password. Admin admin as a username password. Everything in small. Just once login success means. I'm going for the testing page. So this is a testing page. Just I'm using choose scan. In choose scan, I'm going to upload the infant images. Go to the project location. Next, I'm going for the uh, test images. I'm just choosing some of the images. So this is the image I'm going to check. So this is the ultrasound images. Just give detect tumor. Once it's compiled, it means it will give the tumor stage as well as uh, results. You can find it. the image contains glioma tumor. This is the type of tumor which occurs in the spinal cord of the brain as well as its supportive cells. Everything you can get about the tumor. I'm just using another images now. So this is the another image I'm going to use. So this image has no tumor. You can happy. Okay, there is no tumor part in your scanning. Just I'm using one more images. You can use MR images also, as I mentioned earlier. You can use MR images of the infant also. Everything works perfectly for MR images also. So you can check. The image contains PTT tumor. We found pituitary uh, tumor in the form of pituitary gland. Okay, so it uh, changes the hormone level of the body. Everything it will give the results about the tumor. I'm just using one more images. So just using some results. So it belongs to the glioma tumor. Okay. It works perfectly for each and every pro every tumor part. It will work perfectly. Okay, there is no denning part. Perfectly, it will work. Okay. I'm using one more images. So no tumor. Perfectly, it will work. Then I'm going for the analysis pages to check the accurate project. In the analysis pages, I'm just taking the data set. Okay, glioma tumor images 1,142 images. For meningioma tumor 2,000 images. Then no tumor we have taken 1,000 images. Then for PTT tumor we have taken around 2,000 images. These are the images count which we have taken. The overall accuracy of the project which we mentioned earlier around 98.45. This is the training accuracy. For testing accuracy you have to get 97 percent. This is the overall project accuracy. Okay, we can enhance the project for the further also to get this project. Please contact our website iwexpert.com. We do provide this project at best price. Okay. Please contact us. We do have more projects on uh, AI domain. You can go to our website. You can check complete list of projects. Okay. For better price. Okay. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for upcoming innovative project ideas. Okay. Keep in touch with us. Thank you.